And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take off that, remove the snap pin, take off the keeper, pull the pin out, take off the blade. First I'm going to make a furrow. Now this is what you're going to want when you plant potatoes, tomatoes, uh, transplants. Um, onions and garlic. So you make a, a furrow, which is pretty quick in a nice soft soil like this. You just walk along like that. And you have a furrow. And this hiller, this took us a long time to develop. I had several iterations and trials and failures and just kind of by a quirk, we ended up with this stacking three one inch square tube on top of each other with the parallel holes, which uh, works great. And we had to get this angle just right. And the whole thing is heavily welded. So it's, it's, it's beefy. I'm gonna put this on the top hole. And I prefer to use the front hole here. You can also, you could, you could bring it up to here if you wanted to or even like that but I prefer it back here a little further like that and uh, put the pin in snap the pin on like that oops and then now what I'm going to do I'm going to pretend there's a row of potatoes in there you can see the trench is getting covered pretty quickly. Don't try to go too deep. You can do it in a couple passes. This part is called the land. It's like a moldboard plow. It has land. And that land allows the wheel hoe to go straight. Even though you got a lot of dirt here, you're pushing this way. The wheel hoe doesn't push that way because this land is in the ground and it's going against the, the dirt and keeps it from, from squirting around. 